on the table today at Squirrel Stampede. This has got to be the most disgusting, absolutely putrid, wrenching, gross, sternum cracking, crunching, cerebellum popping, throw up explosion at a gas station bathroom, vomiting up every color we could think of. The Treasure X aliens have returned in 2024 with this massive alien dissection kit. And yet again, two squirrels fighting over the only goat cheese left. Give it up, Landry, it's my goat cheese. <laughs> 35 surprises inside four stretchy oozes and four alien characters to be held. Beholden, unsucked, dissected, crunch affected, all that fun stuff. Probably the most disgusting thing you'll see today. So follow along as we dissect, rip apart, tear apart thoraxes, brains, explosions, intestine tying, and all that fun things that we squirrels really like to do in between acorn hunting. Squirrel Stampede! Please like, share, and a squirrel alive. All right, what a surprise, the return of Treasure X Alien in 2024, an all new alien dissection kit, 35 surprises inside. As per now, this is all I'm seeing so far. What you're seeing in the back there are previous generations of alien dissection. Feel free to browse the older Squirrel Stampede Chronicles to discover what we have uncovered in the past. I will say we did find that one fabulous gem, that one horrific dissection event. This kit oddly kind of resembles something you would think to see from Smashers more than Treasure X though. Giant alien egg creature combo pack full of all sorts of things. The trick is, will we start 2024 with a perfect zip? Bonk. Halfway there. I'll call that a close enough satisfying event. Oh, hello there, my alien friend. My best friend alien. Let's just tear your flesh from your face. Tear your flesh. So now it's just a giant, pretty cool, I will say, plastic container of our Alien Treasure X kit. Maybe the most prominent Alien Treasure X find yet. And we can begin by cracking open the skull. Ah! Ah! Hmm! That's pretty tight, actually. Let's go in through the feet. Oh, oh. <clears throat> Some things have already splooshed out of our alien. What do we got? That must be the rib cage. Total disgusting. Then we've got maybe the heart, the beating heart of our alien. Rip that out, right? Eyes, eyes aplenty inside. And uh, again, this was probably either the brain or the intestines. Both do the same thing, right? Right? So what's first? There's not really a guide of reason. Seven other. They're all labeled seven other. Sounds very X-Files-esque. I can't believe he's touching all the guts without gloves. Yuck. Oh, that's right. How foolish of me. Anytime you dissect, make sure you have some gloves on. There we go, I'm much now more safer from the pathogen, antogens that are possibly creepy crawling throughout this pack. I still don't know where to start though. Do I go maybe through the rib cage? That would be like where I would do the primary incision first. So we'll, we'll, we'll start rib cage, right? Funny that it says read all instructions, yet I have not seen any instructions yet unless they went flying out of pack. I've got my old X tool right here, so I can kind of work with this arrangement. I think it should be the most easiest to go through. So uh, yeah, let's just give it a stab here. This is right through the thoraxial ridge and down through the adipose fin and then right into the industrializer. Oh, oh, it's really potent. Woo, that's making me dizzy. I wish I read the instructions. Landry, suction. There you go, suck it all up. Get all that out, because we can't have that on the table. Good work, Landry. Oh, okay, this is something I've yet to see. We've got a purple guy. We've got a guy in bluish gold. This, this pack is full of guys. 
I forgot how many figures are available, but there's plenty. Look at this one. Look at this one. Get the focus on him if I can. Can I get the focus on him? Oh. If it wasn't for my extreme nausea right now, we'd be able to take a look at this better. Oh. Oh. Oh, gosh. Nausea. Uh, so there's three torsos in here. Look, a hanging torso. Hanging torso. La, la, la. Um... This guy looks familiar. His body type does, at least. Kind of like a globulus. Oh, he's got entrails. Entrails are all over him. Woo! And more. More surprises. This bag was packed. So we start with a lot of interesting things. So what have we found here? What have we found? This one has like a little bit of a metallic -y feel. I like that. Be very careful as it eats away through my gloves. Oh, I just got a pathogen inserted into my bio frame. Oh, the pathogen, it makes me shiver. Ooh, careful with that. I'm going to need to find the antigen to the pathogen. Uh, clever looking slime there. Is that, I don't know what that is. That could be a possible treasure. Nothing really special, maybe like a little UFO ball. And ooh, grasshopper? Alien grasshopper? Anyone see an alien grasshopper? When you see an alien grasshopper, immediately change your accent. Woo! Ooh, an alien spider. Ew. That there is the grossest alien spider I've ever seen. Oh, oh into my ear canal! Ow! My ear canal! Oh! How dare you go into my ear canal? Gross. Um, this dude's pretty basic though. Kinda has a real basic-y feel to it. I like it though. And this one, very greenish, blobbish. I gotta remove some of the entrails. Some of the entrails must be removed. It's got a good suit of armor, I'll give it that, in a very Muppet color. And then finally this purple dude, without any more ado. So there is our first pack. We'll just kind of slime these out of the way, and we can continue on. These entrails are everywhere. Ugh. So we've busted through the rib cage now, and we probably would go straight on to the next official major organ, and I think it's gonna be this heart. When you massage the heart like so, you can keep your patient alive up to at least three more days. So let's get our old fashioned X tool. Uh, not included with this pack, it's just something I had over the years. Uh, there might be a resealable bag here, uh, but I'm just going to go all in. And not really going all in that time. Enter the arteracal sac, pulling from the thoracic ridge, and then ejection of the tomato sauce. Oh, it's blue. That is terrifically disgusting. What is it? What is it? I think we found their weapons, and it's slimy. Oh, the return of the chainsaw character right onto the very left of the screen is holding a chainsaw. So we have a return of a chainsaw tool. Yeah, very cool. And if you needed to see that chainsaw a little closer, there he is. Uh, and so maybe some repetition. Oh, yeah, this is a classic repeater rifle. Uh, this will send little pellets of uh, uh, parasites into your toes, which cause your fingernails to fall off. And then we've got a Blowtorch 500. The Blowtorch 500 is great for um, burning off one's hair. And finally, this is some great, great slime by the way. This is, uh, it's not slime, it's the, the technical term is uh, artery transfer fluid. This artery transfer fluid goes through your body kind of like this. Really fast, really fast. Just And it pulls the motorator out of your transistor. Very important. Okay, so here is an eye patch. Oh, <laughs> maybe some stickers. Very clever, very clever. I like how they trusted the uh, pack to not Wow. Anyway, not to get messed up. And here is another incisurizer. And this thing basically cuts all your fingers off. So careful with that. And there's, how many weapons do we have in here? We got four. Oh, one of my favorites. 
This is a little uh, flat screen with a guy on it, and it can't get in there. Look at that flat screen there. It, it kind of like a Han Solo-esque flat screen, uh, but with the Treasure X character there in Carbonite. One of my favorite little pieces. Who else has that piece? Who else has that? I think this guy. This guy has it, and it's really cool. This one's actually a better done version. This old chap, he's got, it's clear. He's got the carbonite in clear. You can see through it, and it's in gold. So this was a very fine piece back in the day of yore, back when alien dissection was at its height. Um, anyhow, anything else in here seemed to have really caused a truffle in there. Oh, one more weapon, a just a simple laser gun. So nothing to splice your brains in half with. Okay, chromosomes everywhere. Look at these chromosomes. Bah. We'll, uh, we'll get to these stickers after we clean up a little more, I'll tell you that. Okay, so we have destroyed the rib cage. We obliterated any alien sort of ever recombinating itself. This could be intestines too. Uh, then we destroyed the heart. We exploded the heart in high elevations. I'm gonna call this brains. I'm gonna call those brains because I feel like these, these were the intestines. Um, and I kind of see like the cerebellum, uh, cerebral, uh, prostac in there, along with some diatoms. So we'll, we'll go old fashioned with this one and just slice open. And we can continue this wretched, Ooh. whoa, that's smelly. Oh boy, I I'm cascading here, I'm cascading. I'm cascading, Landry, towel, towel, Landry. Whew. Oh, if you see some green slime coming down from the ceiling there, that is from my nose. I'm sorry, but my nose is just flushing itself right now. A lot of flushing. All right, can we clear the lab? Get the generator fan on, get the generator fan on. Okay, this pack is actually packed. Look at this. This pack has so much stuff in it. I'm so excited to get into this one. Oh, wow. This is cool. It's like a dollar sign starburst. I wonder what series that's from. I mean, I picked up a lot of series one, Alien, and I only picked up a few series two, so there may be some surprises in here that are new to me. I feel like most of this is kind of like a possible reissue. Uh-oh, more yellow. That better better be lemonade and not what happened at the Frog House, which we will never talk about. Never talk about the incident, the ugly incident that happened at the Frog House, Lego build, Minecraft. Okay, so this is another very impossibly strong weapon of Bazooka Joe. And I can't, this is just so packed. Ah! We found someone's head. Oh, it's so disgusting it, with, with the yellow. Bah, oh, yowzer. Okay, so that came out. Now we're going in for another head. Look at that, look at the balance. Squirrel Stampede can control. Um, you can tell I've been dissecting for years as it rolls across my hand. Very nice. And then these gloves do nothing. I dropped some sort of possible... That could be some sort of possible treasure. And there was other, another possible treasure here. It's like a little screen, another screen. So that's really interesting. What's interesting is how, how these gloves are really paying for themselves right now. Um, more entrails. Lots of entreal. Oh, what? This is the most graphic we've ever seen at Stampede of Squirrel. Yikes, this is the insides of a Tauntaun. When Luke sliced open his Tauntaun, this is what we saw. Um, a brainial sack of fissures here. Uh, tying fissures are everywhere. Very fascinating. And uh, yeah, I see, I see this, this is interesting kind of a vulture man claw weapon, careful with that. And if there's anything else in here, I really couldn't tell you. Um, I would need more thoracic and uh, suction maybe. Landry, can, we, can you help me out with some more suction here? There we go, thank you. That is beautiful. Listen to how it sounds. I think we may have killed our alien. Okay, so that ends that bag. I, I can't even touch my camera. I'm gonna have to use my, my wrists. The squirrel stampede wrist maneuver and the knuckle to focus. The knuckle maneuver didn't work. Maybe I could try this. Nope. Um, hang on. 
This is easily the most messiest I've ever had it uh, with the dissection kit. Maybe because I didn't clean up in between each stage. <sighs> Rookie mistake. Rookie mistake on that part. We got one more bag though before we have to put this together somehow. <laughs> one more bag. Just hope my nose holds out. No more suction bleeding. Uh, where is the bag? Okay, the final bag. The final bag. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Based off what we've seen so far, more stomach acid inside the eyes, right? Let's get our X tool out for this one. Just easier. So the best way to do this is the Three Stooges method. Take your X tool, separate it, and just jab it into each eye. Yoink, 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 yoink. And I think we've done so. Like that. Well now. Hello Sally, it's another head. This guy's got a nice Alan Grant Jurassic Park travel hat. Looking good. I'd come in closer, but my hands cannot touch my camera at this stage. Ooh, we got some gold though. And I've yet to discover any kind of treasure um, that could be gold dipped. I, I, you know, I don't know. And then we got this guy's head. Oh, this is one of my favorite X heads. Um, this is from series one again, I believe. Oh, that's so nasty. I gotta get in closer. Did I do it? Did I get in closer? I did. Okay, look at that. And we've seen this guy before. I won't touch him right now. We'll bring him out in a second. One of my favorite X masks. Very cool. I could see Darth Vader like hunting with this guy or a Knight of Ren or something. Well, that was a jolly good time of destruction. Destruction. Dissection. Dissection correction. So I gotta clean this up somehow. <laughs> it's it's everything is basically stuck to my hands right now. Like I can't let I can't let it go. <laughs> Sorry, Landry. Um, yeah. Come on, focus. Camera, focus. It doesn't even want to focus. It's so sick in here. Did that do it? There we go. I. That was the first time ever at Squirrel Stampede I had to use my nose on my screen to get the uh, focus going. That tells you how messy it is in here. So we're gonna clean this up. We're gonna clean up this dissection and uh, hopefully we can save some of this slime. I don't know though, it's, it's, pre <laughs> it's pretty forgotten at this point. Uh, we'll clean it up and share everything that we found inside. Maybe, maybe there's gold dipped in here and I just didn't see it. Um, how do I, how do I get this button pressed? Oh my goodness, Treasure X, what did you do to my table? There's like a blurb of purple still on there. Here, I'll help you out, Scruffy. Wow, this is gonna buff out for like hours. It's gonna take forever to clean out this. Luckily, I've got an industrial recycler on set on billing, and we can clean this up at some point. Thanks, Scruffy. This just might be the one that finally takes down the table. Look at that death splat. Wow, that's what happens after you dissect an alien on the table. Woo! We'll clean that up, though. So what did we really uncover in that dissection? Well, I've got four torsos of various kinds. I've got four heads of various species. I've got nine accessory pieces. We still have this pack of embedded stickers. And we have four non-dipped gold treasures. Somehow, I was able to save the four squishy, stretchy, oozy compounds, which have now formed into the same stomach bile that is secreting from my pancreas. Now again, I do not have a guide. I'm not sure if it flew out, if it was just not included. So I don't really have names or correct builds for these. The packaging skin seems to indicate to just swap body parts. However, many of these body parts resemble past creatures, so we can kind of build off that. It feels like most everything that we are seeing right now is from series one. Remember series one with the galaxy trackers, cosmic clouds, Cosmic Knights, Moon Miners, Deep Sea Rogues, and Cosmic Commanders. I'm seeing lots of similarities to this group. Not so much into Series 2, which had some epic finds too. To try and re-replicate past alien creatures. So where do we start? Maybe this purple guy first. I like the purple guy. And I'm guessing it's not going to be that hard. We'll just match the purple guy with the purple guy's head. 
This guy could very well be an ancestor to the Cosmic Clouds tribe. Gas Bump would have been his previous name in another generation. You can see that with the gas bumping from his brains. Now original Gas Bump had some sort of really cool flailed weapon, like a fin axe, and I don't see a fin axe here. So I'm not sure what to arm him yet with. Let's just build characters before we arm them. The next stunning creature, one of my most favorite body types, it would possibly be connected to the original Series 1 Galaxy Trackers, Trakar. And I believe this would be Trakar's head right here. And I indeed have an original Trakar right off screen here, holding my favorite iPad accessory. So we, we know now that this accessory would probably go with Trakar. It's a great body type though with the slug-like tail. We'll tip over a little bit. I added a little bit of blue slime on mine. Although so far without holding on to an accessory, not falling over. Our next character is in green with nice green flat-footed shoes. Where do you get some of those robotic-esque shoes? I like those. We're gonna match up this oh-so-favorite helmet piece, the X helmet. Totally I could see the leader of any alien tribe. And also from the trackers, the galaxy trackers. This too I have an original of, and there he would be. And in fact, I will have to go back to the archives to correct and make sure, but he's holding on to that rare ultimate treasure real gem piece. Not sure if I pulled it with him or if it was another and it eventually got to him, but that was your old school treasure, that gem again. One of my absolute favorites, so it's cool to see. And if we're matching up weaponry, I think this is the same weapon. So we know his weapon's that pulverizer right there. And our final character is in blue. Where's he from? Let's get his head. We'll hopefully identify it by placing head on top. Love those shades. I believe this fellow is from the old school Cosmic Commanders and he may have relations to Sergeant Stun. The Cosmic Commanders were the super rare glow in the dark figures of the first series. This figure does not glow in the dark though, I do not believe. I do have a Cosmic Commander though from series one there. That was Officer Orbit. They were looking quite shiny back in the day, the Cosmic Commanders. So there are your four finds of Alien. And so if we're trying to divvy up weapons here, who gets what? We'll kind of give a little space here, try to figure out who gets what. I'm pretty sure that's his weapon, that's his pad. Sergeant Stun should have a weapon with a little, ah, this one right here, I bet ya. It's got like a little viewfinder and it should shoot this way, out that way, so he would hold on to it like so. And again, Gas Bump doesn't really have the correct weapon. There's a miner saw that went with a different tribe. There's this cool pick that would go with the Moon Miner's Nick pick. These are actually Moon Miner weapons right there, actually. All of these, these three here are all Moon Miner weapons. Let's see if I can get the Moon Miners in here. Yeah, the Moon Miners right there from Classic Series 1 would carry these weapons right here. So funny how these divvied up into this alien kit. So you can kind of give whoever you want to give. I think the X guy might look good with this one. The pick could maybe go over here. It doesn't matter. And maybe Gas Bump would get the chainsaw. I kind of like that on him. As for a couple extra little laser darts, we got one of these and one of these. Oh, this looks almost so classic with the plunger on it. So pretty much everything I've seen here today came from series one, just replasticed. As for our four treasures found, sadly none gold dipped. For a time, this was from the Cosmic Commanders and it was known as a Cosmic Compass. This here was a galactic idol, actually. It, it could go into your ear canal and cause some trouble, but that was a galactic idol from the Moon Miners. This was a crystal cell from the Cosmic Clouds, kind of like a crystal in a claw. And from the Galaxy Trackers, this was a wanted poster somehow. Yeah, it's like a little card with an antenna and a wanted poster on it. Kind of hard to see that one. I see a character now closer up. Sadly reproduced in only one color. I do have a few of the originals. Here is the claw again. The crystal cell. Never got that one. I have a stack of bills. <laughs> Who's got the stack of bills? That's from the Galaxy Trackers Cosmic Gash. Pretty good one, I'll admit. If you ever got something like this, it would be almost equivalent to gold dipped. We had a couple atomic compasses back in the day. A jar of mystery. If you're a Jar Jar fan, here's a fusion fish. Cosmic Knights with some galactic gold. Also a close winner for gold dipped. And I'm not sure about this one. This may have gone to series two and just went into the wrong bag. Plate of the planets. That's a good one. You could barely see it. The plate of the planets from the Cosmic Knights. So those were older treasures 
But no treasure today, no real gold. If you find real gold, what does the real gold look like in this series? I'm curious, does it match up closer to the gem? Series 2 had that ultimate treasure gem. The alien ooze eggs also had a gem in there, so not really sure what we'll see in gold. Maybe a, a golden meteor or... Again, it's kind of a mix and match if you will too, so you can always take these heads off and switch around and create your own funny character story names and everything. I kind of feel like that's kind of the goal of this pack. So have fun with the commencing of dissecting heads, ripping off thoraxes, throwing onto mandibles, and you've got what you got. Oh, and the fifth and final alien must just be the giant case. The giant alien shell case here. I believe you can stand like so. Stand up your pieces like so for display. So you can place your characters on a little ledge inside. Somehow, again, I was able to save the soup. And you have a nice little alien outpost collection base for your Treasure X alien dissection kit. Oh, the stickers, of course. So classic aliens here. Here's a nut cloud, and they're really kind of moistened together. Hopefully they're not destroyed on you. That's the Duke of Clanker, Lord Vizlot. That would be fun to hunt down some of these to complete my collection someday. That's Trekar, but in what we have today. There's Gas Bump in purple, and the X there would be X Space. And finally, Sergeant Stun. I'm not sure how well these stickers will hold though, they're very moist. Well once again, Treasure X really does not disappoint. That was a lot of crazy fun. So much fun that we're going to have to maybe check out that LEGO Fire Station. What do you think? I really want to see that. And other LEGO Minecraft builds. Ninjago is flying by with some killer sets this winter, we'll have to see. Did I hear that Transformers was reactivated? Oh, and we've got an epic evolve some dinosaurs from Jurassic World too. This January is jam packed with fun things to do, so follow along with the squirrels as we continue to deliver all we can of crazy content for ya. Don't forget we have squirrel stampede merch like a plush Landry t-shirts water bottle, that fun thing to jam in your slime. Thanks for watching, that's what I have to say about that.